Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. I hope you are doing great today. This is episode 125. We've got a... Uh, the, the, the backup singers have never looked better. Um, we've got a, uh, an extra crew here. I'm amazed the people of Baldur's Gate aren't freaking out about our extra crew. <laughs> I don't know how to get rid of them. Uh, we're going to take a quick... In the last episode, we defeated Leroikin inside of Ramazith Tower. We're going to take a quick short rest to get us some HP back. Um, and then we're going to keep exploring. Uh, there was some stuff right up here uh, that I didn't end up doing last time. So let's just go ahead and... Or, you know, that I haven't had a chance to do yet. So um, Let's do that. We want to go, let's see, this way. Moving ahead. Uh, we had checked out the Bone Cloak Apothecary, but this building right here, whatever it is, uh, we haven't been inside of. Apparently, there's a murder target over here. Murder target Cora is here somewhere. Cora Highberry, right there. Cora, what's your deal? Let's chat with Rick. Like a good moment to talk. I'm rather enjoying the white. Maybe you should give it a try. Well, what's the deal with your hat, my friend? I wouldn't say I like it. Wine festival. Now, keep it quiet. But I'm thinking I might have a little work tipple. A work tipple you're going to drink on the job? Is that what that means? What's Onter up, up to? <sighs> Glorious summer's day, is it not? Perfect, in my opinion, for a light, refreshing tipple. Is tipple like a brand name, or is that a... Uh, <laughs> I think it's just a, a synonym for a drink, but I've never heard of it before. Hey, ghouls, go crazy. Grab yourself something nice. <laughs> Flareth. There's some rather lovely vintages out today. I'd get in quick if I were you. Get in quick. Uh, okay. Roger Highbury? Why, hello there. We were just about to try some of Master Metzley's delightful wines. Oh, would you care to join us? Mm, they do look ever so tasty. Careful, Cora. Maybe ah, it's Mrs. Ivory. I prefer to conduct tastings individually, so I may assess your palate. Call me Cora, Master Metzley. And I'm afraid I must insist on their joining us. Poison? Wine's no good without company, after all. Medicine check failed. Shit. I would love a glass, Master Mestley. See, Master Metzley, surely you can't turn away a prospective customer. I was in business for a great many years, Master Metzley, and my wife, as always, is most correct. Very uh, well. Here, now leave me to attend my customers, please. Are you running? I'm gonna die. Nope, 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 nope. All right, we're going to go turn-based mode very soon. <gasps> Initiative. Jesus Christ. What's going on? What? Wait, what are all those? Why? Are, what's a Dolor? What's... Did you just die? Dead. Absolutely dead. Paralyzed. Jesus Christ. The Wine Festival. Mutton Chops O'Reilly. What a fucking name. What is a Dolor? Oh, you rolled a critical hit because I am paralyzed. I understand. No, I'm not going to re-roll. But hear me out. Okay, no, I'm not going to re-roll. Okay. We're going to die. Okay. What is a Dolor? R.I.P. to Cora Highberry. Um, if I would have passed my medicine check, maybe there would have been a chance. If I'd have told her, I kept thinking, I... 
I'll, I'll, I'll make this man uh, call his bluff. I'll call this man's bluff, and then I'll still be able to save her life. And that was a fatal mistake. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll shield here. Okay, you missed whatever it was that you threw. Okay. Now, what is a Dolor? Doppelganger. Okay. Monstrosity. All right, well. Um, Yale, you know the drill. Cast haste on Karlak and get the oh, fuck out of the way. <laughs> Uh, great. Cool. Can I do this short rest thing again? I absolutely can. Firebolt, the far one. The one Karlak is least likely to get to right away. Cool, good turn. All right, Karlak, that worked out really well because now it's just your turn next. Okay. Uh, two hits. There's three. Now you are like a, you're basically a ghoul, which is crazy. Or you're, you're kind of similar to these guys. Uh, okay. Now we'll hit you. Hit you. Okay. Fantastic. We're not raging yet because we don't need to. Where are you dashing? Are you dashing into the fight or where? Okay, into the fight. Into the fight is fine. Marcus is down to 14 HP. We're all right. We're just fine. Uh, I feel like we should just go Guardian of Faith again. I I, I just have the same like four. On the other hand, if we did Flame Strike, that would be kind of cool. Nah, I'm not gonna use a ton of spell slots here. We'll just have a, we'll just have Shadow Heart attack. Okay, well, you should have hit, but. Perfect. Well, we have, we have so many resources on this fight already. We have a million ghouls. We have uh, this Azer. We have haste. We're already way overpowered for this fight. We'll be fine. Korra Highberry will not be fine, but we'll be fine. Ghoul, ghoul, ghoul. Go crazy. Okay. Gonna make some attacks. Maybe. No attacks. All right. These critical hits are not doing nearly enough damage. I don't understand why. Oh, I have Blade Ward because I just got healed. So that is part of it. I understand. This Blade Ward is actually going to be really helpful. Wow. I didn't know that it would be. Okay. Uh, Yo, know, I would say just Firebolt one of them. Oh, that's my good guy. Firebolt the bad guy. Perfect. Good turn. Uh, Karlak. Excellent. The last one. He's gotten away? Did he? I didn't know where he was. Wait, did he? Did I miss something there? I mean, that wouldn't surprise me. I, uh... That was very chaotic, and I didn't pay attention very well, so. I totally misunderstood. Maybe they were attempting to run. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Maybe that's what it was. Attempting to run. I don't get it. What's got Dame Aelin so down? I, for one, am delighted Laroa can got what was coming to him.
This is this part makes me. Oh, this is interesting. She went too far. There's something dark in her, and it's growing. Does make me very nervous. Um. Perhaps revenge isn't as sweet as it seems. Believe me, I plan to revel mightily once I've finished with Gortash. Hopefully, Dame Aelin will be back to herself by then, so she can congratulate me on a Merthyra well broken. Alright, let's chat with Gil. Dame Aelin has little to feel sorry about. The Roakun would have inflicted a far worse fate on her, given the chance. You look good in this armor, Gale. Why does Elminster have so much faith in you? I've often asked myself the same question. I've never really found a satisfactory answer. You can clearly see something in me that I can't. The wisdom and intelligence required to overcome almost insurmountable odds, perhaps? <laughs> All the stupidity required to attempt it. I take it as a compliment either way. You don't get to be 13 centuries old without becoming a sound judge of character. And cheese, apparently. Do you regret not using the orb when you had the chance? I regret many things in my life. Choosing to be here, intact and unexploded, it's not one of them. Good. For now, to have a few more days in your company, no, I wouldn't change a thing. I like that line a lot. All right, let's speak to the uh, Roger. How could someone do such a thing? Loot this body, Terabasan's gift. This is the thing that was thrown, right? It does a uh, paralyzed for one turn. Okay. Uh, okay. Mutton chops, oh, really? Aha! Step back, civilian. Setting up a wine festival can be dangerous. I just watched. I saw the danger. Porter, are you gonna have a tipple now? Don't you be messing with my setup now. Okay. Highbury's home. Oh, this is their home. Highbury Townhouse. Okay. What's in their uh their mail? The Highbury household stock is exactly where it needs to be. All preparations have been perfect perfectly have been perfectly fashioned just so. Weather's looking lush. The festival's going to be a beautiful day for a bottle. Once we're finished, we'll make sure to leave our agreed percentage in a secure location nearby for your distribution to share to charity. Been an absolute pleasure working with you both on tour. They're hosting this for someone else. For the benefit of on tour who I believe was working with the guild uh, or maybe the the other people stone lord what a pity I cannot make it to your celebration I've sent my best aged wine in my stead that you may celebrate without me store it in the basement it'll age like you know sweat stains no lovely home you've got here Miss Highbury lovely people lovely orphans in your care lovely 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 perfectly lovely you take care now this is so sweaty Highbury's home. Merchant's Almanac. Can't read it. It says the trade way. The basement. Roger said, uh, Molly the orphan. Roger said he was in business. Have you seen him? Have you seen my dad? Who's your dad? His name is Yatsik. He's a super brave knight. We came here together, but... He had to leave. He said that Cora would look after me. She's really nice, but I miss Dad. I have bad news There's about a Cora. Aww. In her voice that betrays a wisdom beyond her years. She knows her father's not coming back. Well, this is rough. Cora's death is going to mean uh, pain, and suffering for these orphans as well. Um, 
Has Cora been looking after you like your dad said? Cora's the best. She looks Aww. after all the kids who've got nowhere to go. She's helping me write down all of my dad's story so everyone will know how brave he is. Aww. I've been telling Cora everything me and dad did. We're going to write the best book ever. Dad will be so proud of me. I'm sure he is. Timmy the orphan. Are you an orphan too? Don't be ridiculous, I'm an adult. Uh, no, I'm not. Oh, lucky you. I miss my parents, especially mum. She made the best apple pie. My friends are all the family I need. Do you have friends? I've got Molly and Cora. So you've got she Molly. She makes a really good pot roast. Yikes. Don't tell anyone I said this, but I actually think it might be better than mum's. Arlac's out here dancing in an orphanage. Oh my god. We're and oh, this is such a mess. We've brought ghouls in here. It's all bad. Merchant's Almanac, the Almanac, the Coastway. Book advising merchants on trade routes by Roger Highbury. Okay. Coastway. A modest guide to Sword Coast Wine. What's in this chest? Anything I can take? Sure. I have a couple potions here that I should really send to uh, Shadowheart. A scroll I should send to Shadowheart. We gotta get these curses off me, man. I'm gonna die. Should really drink something, I guess. I'm low. Nobody else is. Uh, okay. Keep exploring. Okay. Landing. Go to the basement here. Wine cellar key. We'll pick that up. Nobody's going to miss it, right? Nobody's going to miss it, right? Practice sword, training shield, a ball. Wine kind of thrown around. That's curious. What is? Okay, a loose plank at the bottom. Okay. These ghouls stress me out, man. Let's have a look. Strong box key. And I was just thinking this painting looks weird. Elixir of universal resistance. Holy shit. And a potion of flying. Hell yeah. Cool. Now, is there going to be any extra information in here? There's gold. Oh, whoa, 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 Disarm the trap. Did we disarm the trap. First things first, we disarm the trap. Then we lockpick it. Okay. Gold ingot. We need all this gold after uh, buying all those items from the Roican. DC 20 and I failed. Interesting. So this one's actually a little bit, uh, it might be a little bit harder. I don't remember what the, uh, oh my God, I failed it again. Oh my God, I barely made it. Oh, that was a nat 20. Okay, never mind. Gold. Um, four gold right there. Another copy, it looks like of the same book. Get out of here. Let's go to the, up, uh, the top floor, or upper floor. Mm 
Okay, sponge, soap bar. Tear stained letter. And my thanks, Cora. A letter pinned on official flaming fist parch uh, parchment. Thank you, Cora, for taking Molly under your wing. This is from Jassic. I wish there was another way that I could stay and look after her myself, but when the fist calls, I have to answer. I'll be back before you know it, I'm sure. I've got Efren looking out for me after all. Dear Cora, I've tried to write this twice now. I think it's best to be plain. Jassic is dead. Drowned hobgoblins tore through our ranks. Burnt Joaquin's rest to ash. Whatever you tell Molly, make sure she knows her daddy's the bravest man who ever lived. Well, there's no doubt about it. Man, this hurts. Now, now I was so... Uh, sort of reticent to really be careful with Korra's life and look at the mistake we made with that, you know? Korra was uh, obviously such a force for good. I didn't think twice about uh, just picking the more interesting dialogue option when maybe I should have picked the safer one. Hmm. Okay. That's it for the house. Wine festival done. Um, go outside. So. Well, on that terrible note, let's keep exploring. <laughs> um. I want to go all the way up here. Oh, crap. I keep hitting the wrong button. Sorry. There we go. Uh, we'll just go north. Valerio? You've got to talk to the locals if you want the true story about Stelmane's death. The Gazette would never print all the juicy details. <laughs> You eaten at the elf song before? Awful. Uh, Just awful. I had a stew there once that looked like it had a finger in it. Yikes. Thank you for dinner. Dearest Tally, thanks for having us over the other night. I can't tell you how nice it was to sit around a table, eat good food, talk again. It feels like the whole world's gone mad. Having a treat with friends, is, uh, a meal with friends is such a treat, especially for the kids. Hmm, okay. Just a family. Apparently, t Time, or Tim, is uh, a little on edge. The what are you doing home. here? This is a private home, understand? Well, all right, then. I'm going to go talk to your wife upstairs. Is that even better or worse? Hello? I um, wasn't <laughs> expecting any guests. That's fine. Can I read his notebook for free? I'm going to come in and read your journal. Sketches of dresses, notes of unusual stitches, severely, several intricately detailed embroidery patterns. Okay. Die. A landing. Okay. Nothing crazy. We'll go back outside. We have been in the elf song. We went at it from the other direction. I need someone to attack me and kill my ghouls. Talked with them. Here's what we haven't done is any of this stuff up here. What's over here? This little... uh. Olkov, 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 Sully. This. The city is chock a block with bodies, thanks to these murders. I can barely keep up with all the orders. The orders? Are you doing coffins, or are you doing a? Uh... This keeps up. 
The gravekeeper is gonna have to bury me too. If this keeps up, the gravekeeper is gonna have to bury me too. Caskets. You are doing caskets. Okay. Interesting. I swear I'm hearing noises over here. Nasty, dirty toilet seat. Okay. Made it into the graveyard. Molosseum. Uh, mos <laughs> Mausoleum. Bilium. My mum's down there. I put a candle in the box with her. She never liked the dark. Billiam, would you like to uh, speak with the dead? I can do you a... Uh... Dang, that'd be terrible. Jesus Christ. Rest in peace, Janina. Beloved mother, gone too soon. Beloved mother, gone too soon, and there's a pipe here. Gaseous form? Should we try it? Death's blessings upon you. Mortar. I am Mortark Sire. Mortark. Devotee of Kelimvor. I pray you find comfort among the dead, as I do. To rid ourselves of the coils of flesh is a beautiful thing. I mean, all right, whatever. Um, it's a little much for me, maybe. Uh, okay, there's all kind. Oh, interesting. These mausoleums are probably just. Oh, that one goes down. I thought they were just little rooms. Might be useful. Okay, we're going to explore, and then we're going to come back to this little... This gas thing. Hmm, there's a hatch there. Mortuary. Dirt mound. Mailbox here. Kelimvor's... Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Kelimvor's Mercy. Honorable Mortok Skyer. My neighbor is a lovely couple. Uh, in the prime of their lives, were found dead in their house yesterday. A burglar gone wrong by the looks of it. They leave behind a young girl. No money for a burial. Odor is already potent. I'm sure you get a lot of letters like this. Uh, the neighborhood scrapped together some coppers for the cost. Okay. Anita. I am not leaving until Lily has a God's damned coffin. I'm sorry, but our baby girl... Our baby... I oh, know, love. I oh, know. If you're here for a burial, good luck. The carpenter around back claims there's a backlog. We asked for a child-sized coffin. But I said it'll take a month. A month? Holy shit. You lost your child. I'm so sorry. Seven years of age. And murdered. What kind of monster hurts a little girl? <laughs> Shush, love. We're going to get Lily a coffin, all right? <clears throat> Give her the burial she deserves. Well, that's sad as shit. Double doors here. That of the mortuary. I brought a bunch of ghouls to a mortuary, and it's making me feel really weird. Valmorba. I'm sorry for your loss, but it will be Auntie Ethel? a ten day before I can take your departed. Maybe Auntie more. Ethel or Petula? If you notice any odors before then, treat the body with jasmine, honeysuckle, whatever you can get. Okay. Looking for a grave? Am I? What am I looking for a grave for? M. Kerwin. Let's remind ourselves. I'm looking for a grave. M. Kerwin. Kerwin? Oh, yeah. He's just outside under the great willow with the drooping branches. It's good of you to come. He hasn't had any visitors in a long time. I want to pay my respects. It's important to remember those who have gone before us. I wish there were more like you.
M. Kerwin. There's so many uh, quests. Uh, I'm trying to remember what that would be about. And maybe it's a thing where, like, I wouldn't necessarily even know. When maybe it's a thing where that dialogue actually just uh, appears earlier than it should, you know? All right, well, I don't see anything about it yet, so we'll uh, we'll go over there here in a little bit. Ayana's last wishes. Gold for the casket, her favorite teddy bear. Okay, go upstairs. Baldur's Month Gazette. Double doors here. Okay, no reason to be up here. Underneath the willow. M. Kerwin. M. Kerwin. This headstone has been vandalized, altered to read Bibi, rotting place of, of Gothric Rilling. Your songs live on in the streets and in our hearts. Hmm. What's going on over here? <clears throat> Strange beggar Morbus. Come out, sister. I will find you. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form. The smell of rot. The smell of death. Sister always hides from me. She likes to play. If I were her, I'd be hiding too. You smell terrible up close. I'm going to say it. That's so funny. No, I am clean. I take good care of myself, like Sister taught me. Sure, sure. Sister might need a wash, though. She is hiding from me in the ground over there. Maybe you should go join her. Your sister is gone. Le best to let her rest in peace. I can't leave her out here alone. Sister is always happy to see me. She told me so. She will smile so much when I find her. What's your deal, bud? I don't get it. Uh, Pookums. Pookums. He won't listen to me. I told him it's naughty <laughs> to play in graveyards. Okay. Uh... I don't know where this, uh, which one M. of these graves. Kerwin. There it is. Treasured. Treasured. Does that mean there's treasure in this dirt mound? That's kind of what it feels like. Yeah, okay, we're just going to chat. Wait, 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 wait. My Agnes should be dancing in the market. Flowers in her hair. Not here. Not like this. I hope the Grand Duke strings up whoever did this to her. What did I just perceive? Dang it. I think I missed my perception check. Harlax says, my folks are buried here. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Tombstone, I know that name. It was a... In a courier's note, something about settling matters with nine fingers. Which one? One of these? Harlax folks are buried here, too. Ah, there you go. Here lie Pluck and Carlac Cliffgate. I'm glad I caught that. My parents. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Carlac. Uh, sorry, I haven't visited. I've been uh, away. But I'm back now, and I brought friends. I miss you so much. 
but I'm happy and getting up to some really important shit. Maybe you can see for yourselves. I don't know. You're with me here. Anyway, taters. Is that ta ta taters? As in, like, goodbye? What's taters? I have to ask. Taters? <laughs> Men, I love you Aww. in the Cliffgate household. I can't even remember how it started anymore. <laughs> Lost family law. There was a lot of silly nonsense in our house. My mates used to say we had our own personal language. Aww. I guess I'm the last remaining speaker. Mum used to say there was no such thing as death, that there was only change. Dad thought that was a load of woo, that gone meant gone unless you'd struck a deal with one of the gods. Said he had better things to do in life than beg favors off immortals. I'm not sure what I believe. Well, today's episode is just a real, uh, real bummer of things, huh? Well, I, three of these I pretty much agree with, and I don't know which one to pick. I think I'm going to pick it's the ultimate mystery. There are many possibilities, but we'll never know until we get Something there. Something to look forward to. Bit morbid, but true all the same. Here lies Karlak Cliffgate, beloved wife and mother. It must be pluck. These mausoleums Can I try lock picking? It doesn't show up as red, which I think is really funny. We're about to rob the dead here in front of other people. Okay, so maybe it all connects. Nope, okay. The Gorian Mausoleum. That's big. Plead to the gods. Lord Gregorian Gorian. What a name, Here first off. Here lies Lord Gregorian Gorion. First High Constable of Baldur's Gate, the city's protector. Patrons of our hero. We're getting some city lore here. Compendium lists in space special tribute to the citizens of Baldur's Gate who commissioned and paid for the mausoleum spot honoring Gorion. As a hero and sage of exceptional mind and respectable manner, under a graying exterior, he harbored a heart that bloomed kind and good and evergreen. Plead to the gods. Gregorian Gora Gorion. God's old and new, hear me. Grant me the strength to keep fighting, the courage to carve out a future for my children. When I die, the peace that comes with knowing that I did all I could. That's beautiful. A plea for freedom. That's that's the that should be the Baldur's Gate 3, a plea for freedom. The city deserves better than Gortash. Hymns for the gone, a scroll. That might be worth a look. This way. They say that lighting a candle at the mausoleum of Gorion grants the writer a wish. I never was the superstitious sort. I'm just a little bit stitious. But desperation makes believers of us all. Here's my wish. Please let me survive. I don't wish to be called by, killed by cultists. I don't want to disappear in the night, crushed beneath the steel shoe of an automaton. Everything seems so strange suddenly. Everyone seems so desperate. I'm alone in this world. If I don't look after myself, no one will. Maybe you would be willing to help me. Not a chance I'll fit in there. It's a big hole. Let me go this way first. Before I do anything else. Crumbling wall, first off. Don't be shy. Hit that shit. Uh -huh. 
different mausoleum. The Hewn Museum. Okay. Nobody move. I have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. Nobody move. Nobody move! You guys just ran over it. We're all gonna blow up. Nobody move. Yep, there we go. Is that thing just gonna keep shooting? That's what I thought. All right. We'll do it this way, you little turds. That might be worth Another trap right there. This thing is gonna be trapped to hell. We'll do it. We'll do it turn-based mode. Oh, this is cracked. Never mind. There's a key in there. Holy shit. Okay. Did I miss anything else on my turn? I'll exit turn-based real quick. This thing was a was a thing. The one right here. Disarm that. Perfect. Anything else we should uh, disarm? Another we got trap. Where? Where? This is more dangerous than I thought. Where was the other trap? Shit. Oh god, what did Gale see? Oh buddy. Uh DC fifteen. We'll uh I shouldn't have done this. Enlarge? Let's try it. Advantage. Hey, that'll do it. We're huge now. Another key. Skeleton. Skeleton has a bottle on it. A shield. We will send to Karlak. The legacy of Hewn. Kneel with the weight of all you value at his feet. And he will reveal himself. That is what needs disarming. Okay. Perfect. Anything else? What else am I missing? Does this look like a doorway? Does that look like a doorway to you? Hell, it even kind of sounds like a doorway. Looks like a doorway to me. Am I seeing any levers out here? Kneel? What did it say? Kneel with everything you value? I mean... Is there a way to just make this happen? Hundred percent. That's the doorway. Oh, we already we already looted this. We'll disarm this just in case, and then we'll go back to the other room. I don't know why I got guidance for that. I kind of want to try gaseous form here. I haven't done gaseous form, uh, I think, ever, and I want to see what it looks like in this game. I've never done it in D&D &D or in this cursed. game. What's gaseous form? Okay, we're going to be as an individual here. Can I go through the hole? I think it'll only last like 10 turns. But I kind of want to go... No, it goes until a long rest. Oh, yeah, okay, sweet. I made it into a different one. Okay, I move really slow. They're in bold hounds. Stuffed bear head. Stuffed bear. Sarcophagi. Okay, I think I could probably, uh. Let's dismiss gaseous form. Here lies the hound master of the Durinbolds, surrounded by his loyal pack, Aww. good boys and girls all. Owlbear, wolf, boar, bear. 
kind of cool. That's kind of weird, but it's kind of cool. Uh, hole and backpack. Hold up. Anything I didn't see this. Somebody trying to get out? Queen of Ravens. Um. Okay. Role of animal friendship. Don't mind if I do. Excuse me, what did I just do? Oh, shit. Whoa, that's cool. Holy cow. Oh no. That's way too much HP. Uh Here's what we're going to do. I'll go all you guys. Flee. And we'll rejoin that. Yeah. Get out of here. See if we can get into the Durinbold thing from the other direction. You know? Hewn. Grand. No, oh, see, this is a problem. We needed... Oh, God. That's a dead person. Oh, Jesus. Um, I needed one of you guys to give me a way in. Because otherwise, I don't know that I can help. Oh, no. Uh, let's go here real quick. There was an exit here, right? Exit here was here. This is passageway. Shit. I was thinking we could get these guys into a... Uh... They're in bold. With ease. Perfect. I forgot about this one up here. Who's our best lockpick? Shadowheart? I don't know. I don't going. think Shadowheart has a ton of dexterity. Give it a try. It's gonna be locked. Get you all in here. What are you hiding? Dexterity plus two. Give myself guidance. Perfect. All right, gamers, run on in. Yep. There it is. All right. Uh, maybe my ghouls will follow now. Uh, okay. So, what now? I get to go first. So, I, uh, you know, I picked up a scroll of animal friendship. Can I drop this shit yet? Yeah. Same with this. Uh, we have to reorder our party. It's a super important detail. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the dog in front of us. I don't like how this feels. Okay, did that. Bardic Shadow Hearts, in turn. The dogs. So they all have their own uh, sarcophaguses, I guess. Ooh. It's necrotic damage, actually. Which is interesting. I just kind of figured they were ghosts, but do ghosts do necrotic damage? Undead ghost, okay. Gale's been hit really hard. Oh my god, Gale is really weak. Okay. Negative three. <gasps> Prey essence. Okay, Gale. Um, you need to kill some people, and you need to do it quickly. Uh. Our best play is Gale. Our best play is Gale. I've never used Glo Globe of Invulnerability, but I kind of want to do it right now. 
Many a Hit me now, bitches. All right, cool. Let's try that. Seems fun. Carlac, you need to go do some damage. Uh, recharge once per long rest. Uh, we'll rage. Cool. Uh, I guess we'll stay right there because we're technically invulnerable. Same here. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna save Shadow Hearts. Uh, spells for now because we've been we we burned three spells pretty quickly with uh with Shadow Heart in general. Uh, so technically I am invulnerable. So that's fun. I did a little cloud of daggers right there. You know I love Cloud of Daggers. Um, Bardic Shadowheart, in turn. Okay. You coming into the Globe of Invulnerability does make this hard, but we'll drop it eventually. Brave Shot. I don't know what that does. Now you're the Houndmaster's Prey. Okay. Uh, Gail, stay here and go ahead and drink a potion. We have so many potions now. Fireball. I think we have disadvantage from inside of the uh, thing, but honestly, that's fine. I'm going to enjoy this. Let's hit the Houndmaster. Now that Carlac's out here, the hounds should follow. So, lots of hits there in turn. Uh, technically, I can, like, step out of the globe, right? Yes. Then hit, then go back in. No more disadvantage, then step back in. Cool. In turn. Okay. So now you're going to gain lots of temp HP. Some temp HP. Did they just heal the master? I feel bad killing these dogs. Uh, I'm talking. Let's see here. What should I do for some damage? Mm -mm -mm. Uh, uh, more cloud of daggers? Oh, not level six. Oh, shit. There goes my only sixth level spell slot. I wouldn't have done that if I'd have known that it was a... Uh... Okay. This is all set. <laughs> Hit that. Break that. All right. Love it. Oh, well, thanks for uh, coming to our aid, guys. We figured it out. These sad dogs. Xena. Lionheart Xena, fierce watchdog. At night, no one dared to pass her post. Uh, didn't have tried this. Quite exhausted. We'll fail here, Good I think, and then would do me well. maybe we can have Carlac try him. Yells exhausted, sure. What's the story? I always think it's going to be a uh, flat of hand check, but it's not. It's uh, strength. I got a 14. I should have taken guidance. Why didn't I take guidance? There we go. Aw, stuffed Albert, Albert toys. Xena's in here. Aw, I can't wait for Megan to get to this point. So, uh, this point and? in the game, she's gonna be so sad by uh, looting these uh, dogs' graves. Okay, well, 
We can't get to that one. And these things are still right. interesting. Let's have uh, Marcus try it. Somebody will roll high, higher than a 15, right? I don't really care what's in there that much, but... Let me work my magic. If Gale did it, that would be really funny. You have to, you have to admit, with a minus one to strength. But sometimes people roll high on the dice. Just not this time. No time to dally. All right, Shadowheart, it's your turn. Oh, we have Bardic here. Don't use the Bardic. Oh my God, you got a four on the guidance. <laughs> oh, you're so strong, Shadowheart. Arrow of Salving, okay. Aw, uh, three dog collars, a scroll of animal friendship. Oh, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna loot it. Leave all no that time for Danny. Well, this is a fun it's little place. Over, then through. Get me out of here. <laughs> here goes nothing. We made it out. It's a fun little place. Okay, well, where do you think this little thing went? Because I did want to try gaseous forming down this, too. I'm going to have to try it at a fourth level. Try it now. Metal pipe. You cannot use that right now. <gasps> oh, my God. Dick this person up. This person's alive. What the fuck? <laughs> I understand what it is now. I thought I was done for. <laughs> Lady Luke, bless you. I, I thought I was gaseous forming through that pipe. It was him uh, shouting from below. What were you doing down there? Sightseeing. What do you think? I filched the wrong baldy and got myself oh. buried for the trouble. Stone Lord, he calls himself. Shit. More like stone shies. <laughs> buried alive. Sounds like apt punishment. A high and mighty type. Ahem. Oh, I've learned my ways and I'll <laughs> never steal again. Happy. Very, very. Look. I ain't got much in the way of thanks, but the stiff below has some fancy doodads. You're welcome to them. I was welcome to them without you, is the thing. Magical Pike, we'll send that to Carlac. Ray Pierce, send that to Carlac. All right. Well, we'll keep exploring the cemetery in the next episode. Thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, buried alive, a crazy dog fight. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a like and a positive comment helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Again, you can just write a, uh, an emote in the comments if you want. It does help me out a lot, though. So, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Till then, bye bye.